Hey, it's Troy here and welcome to the shop. Hey, I thought I would do a little video here, kind of a, kind of a, um, a talk about what I discovered uh, yesterday on the lake. Um, now, if you if you seen one of my posts yesterday, I mentioned that I caught some fish, had a nice morning, but I lost another big bass, another about four or five pounder. And I'm being conservative, he might've been bigger, but I'm, I'm pretty sure he was at least five. Um, but anyway, um, the other thing was last week on Table Rock Lake, actually a week and a half ago on Table Rock Lake, I lost three or four really nice fish, uh, all four or five, three and a half pounders. And um, it was getting really frustrating because I'm, I'm, I've been having so many shake off. I'm getting the hook set, but I'm having them shake it off. So yesterday I was able to figure out what is going on. And I thought I would share it with you because it's all these small details that can make you a better angler or make you have an issue like I did where you, where you're gonna, where it's gonna cost you some fish. Luckily, none of these were in a tournament where it could have cost me some big money. But they still, you know, they still are very frustrating. I want to land them and, 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 and uh, you know, release them, but I want to land them. We all do. We want to get them in our hand, get some pictures, and show off our catch and then let them go. So here's what's going on. The one thing that was in common in all the fish that I lost is, even though I have multiple crankbait rods in the boat, I have one that's really my favorite, and they were all on that rod. Now, I've caught many fish on that rod before, so it's not the rod's fault. But they, they were all on that same rod. But what has happened is, before the last trip, at Tail Rock, when I started losing those all them fish, I changed reels. I changed reels on that rod. Now, why is that a big deal? Okay, here's there's two main factors coming up. Um, the line was basically the same. It was a copolymer high seas line, about the same poundage. Uh, maybe I think I went I went in a little lighter. I think I had 12 on before I went to 10 even. Uh, so I'm getting the same amount of stretch, uh, and I'm on the same rod. But the difference is, I went from a, a, a Fluker Presence to an Enigma Torch. So that's one part. The Enigma Torch is a higher speed reel. Now again, I know it is, and I'm retrieving it, and I'm compensating for that, I think, but sometimes I might accidentally just go with the motion and maybe be going faster. Okay, now remember that. That's one part. Here's the big part. When I got back to the shop yesterday, I confirmed it because I took that President's reel, a Fluger President off, and I had it on the bench because it needed to be cleaned. So I hadn't touched it since it's been off. I checked the drag. The drag was looser on the presence than the torch, quite a bit. So even though I knew my drag was loose, it wasn't as loose as it needed to be for crankbait fishing. If you know about the details of crankbait fishing, you want a fiberglass rod usually, you want a copolar or monofilament lengths, you want stretch. Or if you use a if you use braid, you want a leader for stretch. And you want to have that drag loose because when you set that hook, you don't want to have that crankbait tearing a larger hole in the mouth, which the tish, soft tissue will tear and it will make a larger hole which can allow the barb can come out. And that's exactly what was happening. I had my drag a little tighter where when I was setting the hook, excuse me, when I was setting the hook, it wasn't giving that look extra slip. And with that maybe a little faster reel, I was getting a little extra, you know, hook set there too. And uh, I was tearing, I'm, I'm tearing a larger hole in the mouth. And that's why the bass are getting either, you know, getting able to spit it back at me. It's tearing a larger hole, I'm fighting them and they're spitting them back out because every fish I lost was on a crankbait or a lipless crankbait. So that was the, that was the, that was, that's how I figured it out. So it's some details like that that can really cost you big time. Luckily this was not a tournament, but it was still very frustrating. But I'm so happy to have realized what is going on. I needed to loosen my drag on that. I really don't need to take the torch off. Uh, I really like that reel on my crankbait rod, uh, but I definitely needed to back the, the uh, drag off a little bit and be more conscious of that speed um, also as well. So I thought I'd share that with you because it's these little details that can really make you a better angler and uh, or, or a struggling one like I was. So anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. I hope this tip helps you out. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for tuning in.